hello and this is divine sunshine um i have downstairs i'm getting my basement fixed from the flooding we have from chicago and it's taking a while each time they think that they have cleared something um something else pops up <laughs> downstairs in my foundation so uh, i haven't been on that because i've been dealing with that and trying to get things kind of focused and together so i wanted to come on here because i was like i want to come on here i just keep on pushing it back and so i said i want to come on here today uh, and just try to tap into the energies i know the full moon is coming in on the first and i got a new deck of cards uh as well and i don't feel like going downstairs in the basement to get the cards um that i do have uh as well and so just to tap and see and what are the energies bringing in by this full moon that's in aquarius which is again pushing us to think outside of the box um and on top of that is also aquarius are more so about what's the goodness for everybody that's in there if i'm pouring my cup the energies and making sure that i'm pouring out to others too as well um very much um very smart very inside of self however um aquarius can be also known to um kind of burn out they bring into me this thing about burning out uh and because they're almost some people kind of compare them to being uh like machines they're so methodical and on point on a lot of things that again some people think um because there's so much on point that the emotions and things are kind of like checked to the side and it's like you know they kind of have that um to me syndrome in which you know how they're saying people are so strong so strong that you don't even really believe what they break down it's like oh it's nothing this is all gonna be all right it's they don't really take a really investment in stock and really believing too much in some ways that they are having this breakdown and when they do i remember that them saying that aquarius is it um to the point that it is like they might let out a scream they might kind of kind of that's it um have like a mental breakdown but then they kind of reboot themselves um so we're thinking about right now as we're empowering ourselves and how we can think outside of the box how we can create this new leveling that we're going into and the, what came on to me this one is mask the overall energies is the mask um that's bringing out uh and as i'm looking here it's like again um it's interesting it's got a female here a feminine and i would say to me and they've got this jumbi uh i have my phone here so i don't know what this is my african goddess rising uh what she I'm looking in the description box below and i probably will put a what it means but as i'm looking at this i'm thinking about a person who is again masking themselves and i'm looking at this way is like masking themselves upon like traditions and um, things ancestral because i'm looking at all of these masks that are here and to me when i look at it it looks like to me it's like being told you have to act a certain way or be a certain way or present yourself a certain way and i see these birds on this card here too as well which to me is representing some type of form of freedom uh sending and to me this here with this moon coming in it's got the number 18 which to me is again using your intuition your awareness more in order to get this rebirthing that's happening um as well into harmony and this infinity flow where you're really balancing into this temperance energy of both of these energies and to be something about this is a way in which we present ourselves in our spirit we're still masking who we truly are our divinity and so with this new um this this coming out i'm getting the download it's the talk and i got it is that we're trying to find how can we pretty much embody the ancestral things that we have 
the identity that we have grown to now and this to me and represent the culture that we have but then truly be in alignment and understanding as to who we are embodying all these things and not to be still wearing a mask to everything um mask also they're bringing them uh, while i'm talking is also a form of mask i know i seen one time on youtube or doing a class with one of my uh, my class um of students that i teach were saying their masks are actually alive and they were saying that a lot of times we put them in our homes to make us adornment and decorations but they also hold a certain spirit uh, and so as I'm looking at these masks, and this is what's being told and pushed to me too from guys, is that again, you know, what kind of spirit are we embodying uh, while we are taking on these different forms of different masks that we're putting on? Is it the mask of our whatever, how our mother told us how to act or how our fathers have told us how to act or the whatever tradition, Jackson tradition or uh, those things and seeing as far as when we're talking about mass, how is that helping us to be our freedom? Are, are we just, you know, adhering to um, proper etiquette or what society says that we should be doing? Because this Aquarius, like I say, energy at the beginning is to push you to go outside the box. But at the same time, I'm hearing is like, how do I still be me, but still serve out and be a benefit to everybody else? And then I will say the answer to that is to still be you. Your uniqueness is your way of what you bring into the, to the planet of how you're shining to others is what you are bringing to the table and that's what's going to be able to help others in your world so to me the energy here is saying that again is how do we now incorporate all of these different masks or different identities that we have taken on and making sure that it is still being in alignment with our authentic and true self or are we taking on something else? And this Aquarius moon that's coming up is helping us to understand that how could we deal and come with the answers by stepping out of the box, literally, and being able to pour out into others but still be us. All right, then, that is it. I'm starting to do new things, this little minutes, little snippets of things as well so this is what the full moon energy is helping us to reveal the mask getting the trueness of who we are and find a different way of how to do that instead of our usual patterns thank you all right until next time i'll be talking to you real soon hit subscribe hit like to this uh, video